Okay, folks, continuing in my uh, mantra of whatever I'm doing, make a video out of it. Got something interesting here. Well, I hope you find it interesting. I have here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Count them. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, can you tell I have kids? I have ten uh, 1300 milliamp hour 4S batteries, and they are at 14.92 volts. I'm not sure if you can read that, but you can take my word for it if not. 14.92. All of them were within, uh, they were between 14 point, uh, say, 14.8 and 14, 15.0. They were all very, very close to each other uh, when I plugged them all in. But I've got this one battery here that's at 15.3, 6, 15.4. Okay, so I got this one that's at 14.92 and this one that's at 15.36. Remember that the guideline that I use is that there should not be more than 0.1 volt per cell difference between the batteries. These are four cell batteries, so that's 0.4 volts. So we are just about as much uh, voltage difference as you would ever want to see. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up this battery with the amp meter running and let's see how much current flows. Okay, so it's zeroed out. Let's make sure that and I'm not going to plug in the balance connector yet I'm just going to plug in the main discharge lead and let's get some science whoa 6 amps I'm charging this battery at 6 amps that's 6 C that's kind of a lot of charge isn't it Five, five amps. I'm just going to keep holding off here as it comes down. I'm, I'm sure this battery will be fine. We're now down below 5C. It's a 1300 milliamp hour. So, fine, you know, we're, we're below 5C, so we're probably not damaging it. We probably didn't damage it. I mean, for a minute, it, for you know, a few seconds, it was at 10 amps. But let's just keep going. It's balancing. Four amps. This battery is discharging. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This battery is discharging into the other batteries. Well, it's not like I can go back and do this again, so I'm just going to leave all that in. But this battery is discharging, so it is putting out 10 amps. There is no problem at all. Now, putting out 10 amps into 10 other batteries, so each of them is taking approximately an amp. So nobody is being charged at too fast of a rate here or discharged at too fast of a rate. All is good. Notice that we're still bringing those batteries up. They're still taking current. And also, if you watch over here, you c I can't see it, but it's gone up. It's for it's going up to fourteen nine eight. It's a little hard for you to read, I think, but they're being slowly pulled up, not very fast because this is just one battery, and those are ten batteries. It's putting out three amps. So I'm going to keep recording this because some of you will find this interesting to see the sort of curve over time. But for those of you who are already bored, let me just say that four tenths of a volt rule or one tenth per cell, that's what that's for. This battery was four tenths above the others. And for a few seconds, it was putting out, oh, you know, 10 amps for a 1300 milliamp hour battery. If this battery was four tenths of a volt low, you wouldn't want it to be taking much more than that because you would be charging it for 10 at 10 amps which is which is excessive now you wouldn't charge it for very long it dropped off pretty quickly didn't it so again i would feel perfectly comfortable plugging it in and letting it take 10 amps for three seconds and then immediately it just drops off and it's at five amps it's you know it's it's down pretty quickly uh but yeah, look, it's still going. It's still we still moving two amps, two and a half amps. They're up to fourteen point nine nine. So this is the equalization process that I'm talking about when I say that you plug the batteries in parallel and they equalize their voltage. They exchange current until all of them are at the same voltage, and it's still happening. Two amps. It's going to keep exchanging current as long as there's a voltage difference between them. Two amps. We're five minutes into this video. We're still moving two amps. Well, I guess I'm not going to wait till it goes down. Well, okay, guys. Now it's been like 11 minutes. We're down to 59, 590 milliamps, 0.59 amps. So, you know, it's it's going to keep going down. And, and I guess my point is that 
if you were just parallel charging two batteries, you know, uh, then you would be pushing more current. A and if they were 0.4 volts apart, you would be pushing more current into the lower battery than this case where you've got 10 batteries all plugged in parallel. So the, the current that the high one pushes out is divided into them all. So one uh, rule of thumb you might take from this is that if you've got a bunch of batteries in parallel and one of them or, or several of them are at the high end of the 0.1 volt per cell guideline, then plug those in last because the current that they put out will be divided into the other batteries and the other batteries, of course the batteries can discharge much faster than they can charge safely. So you'll avoid pushing current into the other batteries too quickly. The other thing to keep in mind is that uh, again, in a case like this where you've got one battery that's more charged up than the others, it is a good idea to leave the discharge lead unplugged because the, you know, the, the 10 amps we put out is going to be divided between four cells, so 2.5 amps, and that's not, this little wire, it could probably handle 2 amps, but just as a good matter of practice. If all your packs are within about 0.1 or 0.2 volts of each other, then it probably doesn't matter, and I just, I just plug in plug in the discharge lead, plug in the balance lead, and get on with my day. But in a case like this where the PAX is, is close to the edge of that limit of 0.4 volts per cell, or 0.1 volts per cell, or 0.4 volts total for a 4S, uh, you see it, it probably is a, you know, a good thing, not mandatory, but a good thing that I leave the discharge lead unplugged until the battery has equalized a little more. Anyway, there you go. Uh, hope that was helpful. Hope it's interesting, and happy flying.